Hey guys. I think it's time we found a way back home. You lose so many things you love as you grow. I miss the days when I was just a kid. My fear became my shadow, I swear it did. Wherever is your heart, I call home. Wherever is your heart, I call home. I know your feet may take you far from me, I know. Wherever is your heart, I call You made me feel like I was always falling Always falling down without a place to land Somewhere in the distance heard you calling Oh, it hurt so bad I let go of you You love, you're still alone. We always find the darkest place to go. God forgive our minds, we were born to roam. Wherever is your heart, I go home. Wherever is your heart. When I come home, oh God, forgive my mind. There is a road that's long and wide and all hers old. I'm calling home. Oh God, forgive my mind. Oh God, forgive my mind. When I come home, when I come home, oh God, forgive my Brandy Carlisle in the Skype Live studio. Wow. So I gotta I gotta reorder my questions here because I gotta address something that was completely in, in, obvious in that song is that sounds exactly like it did on the record. Does it not sound exactly <laughs> like it did on the record? And that's because you guys did something very old school. You recorded an album live. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, we've been doing that since we started. We've felt like it was a really important uh, component to who we were as a band. And um, there's nothing against layering uh, elements into a song in the studio. It's just not really who we are because everything we've done has been based on on uh, documenting what we do live. It, it's, it sounded unbelievable. And, um, 
Um, yeah. yeah, the new album uh, came out earlier this year, The Firewatch's Daughter. Um, it, it sounds, to me, it sounds different than some of your early records because there's so much harmony in every single song. Unbelievable stuff. Um, where does this, the the title, The Firewatch's Daughter, come from? There's a song on there called The Stranger at My Door that used to be called The Firewatcher's Daughter, but um, we wanted to call the, the album that. And uh, I live on a farm. I have a lot of bonfires, and I get really contemplative. I have these bonfires, and I just kind of go into a bit of a trance, and I start contemplating things. And so um, my wife was pregnant, and we were expecting a daughter, and I was thinking about the elements of uh, of my faith that I wanted to integrate into her childhood and the, the elements of my faith that I didn't want to integrate into her childhood. It's obviously it's a very a bit big, yeah, yeah, complicated issue. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what people like. Uh, last night you guys performed your first show out of Edgefield. How'd it go? It was so awesome. Who was we there? Loved it. <laughs> a lot of people that were there. The twins, right? The th that was so much fun. So uh, thank you guys for coming. Uh, anybody coming tonight? <laughs> right on. Great. What uh, what 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 portion of the tour are we in? Are we towards the end? Are we in the right middle? Right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. Yeah, okay. this is the beginning of the autumn tour. Very nice. And and where do you go from here? Um, Jacksonville. Okay. And then we're going camping for a couple of days. We got some fishing poles and a couple kayaks. We're going out to Central Oregon. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Do you do that on all your tours? Do you try to make these little stops to actually visit the places you know you're where you're stopping? Yeah, something. I mean, especially in the Northwest, you know, Oregon, Washington, Idaho. Those are big spots for us to spend a lot of time near the lakes and rivers and pull a few trout out. Uh, <laughs> see, I, you, you got to do that. You gotta <laughs> do that. May, maybe bring some to the uh, to the show. <laughs> a, a few years ago, uh, Brandy, you performed the, uh, was it the national anthem at the Seahawks game? Yeah, yeah. You a big Seahawks fan? Yeah, you know, being from Seattle, we definitely have been saturated in Seahawks. And that, that, was, and that was the year they, <laughs> they went all the way, wasn't it? That was the year they went to yeah, the Super Yeah, it was actually really cool to, be, to, to be a part that of that. that year. Yeah. And I, any plans this year for that? Oh, man, if they asked me to, I would do it in a heartbeat. Just why, because why wouldn't they, right? Yeah. That kind of an adrenaline rush is not something you could get bungee jumping. It's so terrifying to stand in the middle of that stadium and do the national anthem with no music backing you up and a delay that's se so many seconds long you can't tell where you are. When you he you're hearing back words that you've said and wondering if you've said them or what's going on, <laughs> and then right when you say rockets, red glare, they shoot off these cannons <laughs> all around you, and you don't. I didn't know it was going to happen, so... <laughs> But you, but you didn't mess it up like we've seen off way too many times. No, I yeah. didn't mess it up. But you know, you're so scared you're going to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you bring little cue cards or anything like that? No, just no. You just like it's like just mental. It's it's such a good centering exercise sure. because it's just so much pressure, so much pressure. Well, you've been here in this uh, very spot before. This is the one thousandth Skype Live Studio performance. There's so much pressure in the Skype Live Studio. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I, especially when it's so the one thousandth performance. <laughs> Uh, but you, you know, you've done you've done a few places here. What's your favorite place to perform here in Portland? You're doing Edgefield two nights. Here in Portland, I actually think Edgefield. Okay. I, I Is this your first time at Edgefield? It's the or? first time that we played it, and I mean, I love the Schnitz. That's one of my favorite places in the country. Um, but having never played Edgefield before, what a vibe! Like, what a fun vibe it is out there. Now, you, being from the uh, from the Northwest, when you come to Portland, do you pick up on that that uh, that Portland weirdness? Do you see it, or is it just like, hey, it's Portland? It's just like, you know, sibling sure. of, of for I, us. I say that because as I was driving up, there was like a wedding party walking down the street. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys saw it. And I couldn't tell if that was just like what they do every day or if they like, were <laughs> actually going to a wedding. No, they weren't in a wedding. That was just like Stumptown had just let out. Yeah, it was, the it, was like a five, <laughs> it was like a 5K. <laughs> so uh, so you got, you're got starting the tour, going to do the tour, do some fishing. What, what after that? You're just going to see what comes next or do you have plans into 2016? Um, well, after summer, we're going to um, take a little bit of time off and uh, do like maybe a little a run of like Christmas shows, like little tiny ones, and then uh, take some time to write and start working on the next record. And spend spend some time with family. I know uh, the the twins both have new uh, new babies at home. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So do I. We yeah, and you, you do too as well. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Let's well, they're not at home. They're here. Yeah. Oh, they're <laughs> traveling with you. That's the way to do it. Yeah, it's nap time. It's the way to do it. They're here. Well, they can nap. Let's have some uh, more music. Right on. We 
really breaks my heart to see a dear old friend go down to the worn out place again. Do you know the sound of a closing door? Have you heard of that sound somewhere before? Do you wonder if she knows you anymore? Or wrapped your love around me like a chain. But I never was afraid that it would die. You can dance in a hurricane. But only if you're standing in the eye. Where did you learn to walk? Where did you learn to run? Away from everything you love. And did you think the bottle would ever ease your pain? Did you think that love was a foolish game? Did you find someone else to take the blame? your love around me like a chain but I never was afraid that it would die you can dance in a hurricane but only if you're standing in the eye you can dance in a hurricane but only if you're standing in the eye. I am a sturdy soul, and there ain't no shame in lying down in the bed you made. Can you fight the urge to run for another day? You might make it further if you learn to stay. Wrapped your love around me like a chain. But I never was afraid that it would die. You can dance in a hurricane. Only if you're standing in the eye, you can dance in a hurricane. But only if you're standing in the eye. Thank you. This song's called The Things I Regret.
question on my back on the road in which I've traveled is as long as it is cracked but I keep pressing forward with my feet to the ground for a heart that is broken makes a beautiful sound when you're wearing on your sleeve all the things you regret you can only remember what you want to forget Thanks, guys. <laughs> Gonna play you guys a song now by the Avit Brothers. I love that band, and uh, they 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 play this song a lot and. Every time we do a gig with them, um, I always beg them to sing it, and then I stand on the side of the stage and cry. And um, it's funny with the lyric, you know, some of my favorite uh, songwriters never say what their songs are about. They don't explain it because they really want the song to be highly interpretive. They want it sort of to be able to be your anthem and not to be about that little sort of uh, the, the smallness of whatever it was that caused them to write that particular song. And uh, with this song, it for me... It, it's, it was about, I think, um, Scott's family and, you know, becoming a dad. And, and, uh, and for me, it was, it, it, there, there was some of that element in there to it, definitely becoming a mom and having a daughter. But in the end of the song, it talks about um, how uh, there's nothing worth sharing like the love that lets us share our name. And I couldn't help but think about the Supreme Court and, and the, the battle that we've been fighting in the LGBTQ community for the last however many uh, decades to uh, be recognized and have marriage equality. And so when I heard that song, I heard it um, differently, and I, I felt that it represented my family. And So we put it on the album because uh, it meant so much to me, and uh, we're going to close today with this tune. And thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for coming out to see us this afternoon. <laughs> this is Josh Newman on the cello. These are the twins, Tim Hanseroth and Phil Hanseroth. <laughs> and thanks to King for having us out, man. You guys are our Portland buddies.
If I get murdered in the city, don't go revenging in my name. A person dead from such is plenty. There's no sense in getting locked away. But when I leave your arms, the things that I think of, there's no need to get over alarmed. I'm coming home. I wonder which of us is better, which one our parents love the most. I sure did get in lots of trouble, and they seemed to let the other go. A tear fell from my father's eyes. I wonder what my dad would say. He said, I love you, and I'm proud of you, but in so many different ways. If I get murdered in the city, go and read the letter in my desk. Don't bother with all my belongings, no, pay attention to the list. Make sure my wife knows that I loved her. Make sure my daughter knows the same. And always remember, there is nothing worth sharing like the love that lets us share our name. Always remember, there is nothing worth sharing like the love that lets us share our name. Brandy Carlisle, Skype Life Studio. Yeah. Thanks, guys.